Action Junior Welterweight and Lightweight Champ Christy Martin and Deirdre Gordy. The exciting and entertaining Martin says, uh, well, hey, when I fight, don't go to the bathroom or go to get a soda. She's charmed the hard-nosed press corps here and impressed them with her boxing technique. First, let's take a look at Ireland's Deirdre Gogarty, who moved to the U.S., Lafayette, Louisiana, 93, her first pro fight in 91. Get this, her first fight was for the Women's Irish Lightweight Championship. Her opponent had 21 fights. Deirdre won by decision. Her biggest fight of the States, a seventh-round TKO loss to Mexican champ Laura Serrano, who fought Christy Martin to a draw less than a month later. But Gogarty bounced back with a first-round KO in her last bout. And now a look at the exciting... Christy Martin, a part-time substitute school teacher who began boxing on a college dare while attending Concord College in Athens, West Virginia on a basketball scholarship. Christy trained and managed by her husband, Jim, is 26 on one since her last defeat, only the second in 38 fights. Tonight, her third fight in less than five weeks, stopping her last two opponents in rounds three and one. 14 of her 25 knockouts in the opening round, she does have explosive power. In case you're wondering, both spar strictly with men. Let's size them up as we check out the tail of the tape brought to you by The Ring, the Bible of Boxing. At 27, Martin just a year older than Gogarty. Gogarty with the two-inch uh, height advantage at 5'6". Martin, 135. Gogarty, 130. The reach is almost uh, even. And to the Nevada rules for the scheduled six-rounder, two-minute rounds, 10-point must system, three judges score, no standing eight count, three knockdown rule in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. If an accidental foul occurs before the end of the third round, it's ruled a technical draw. After the end of round three, they go to the cards. So here... At the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas, getting set for Christy Martin and Deirdre Gogarty, let's get the introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, at this time, we present a women's lightweight special attraction coming away, and it's all brought to you by Don King Productions and King Vision, in association with Showtime Event Television Pay-Per-View, Corona Beer, and the MGM Grand. At this time, I present to you the judges who will be scoring this bout from ringside. Art Murray, Hal Miller, and Paul Smith. Introducing to you our referee in charge of this bout, Carlos Padilla. All right, fans, here we go. Lightweights in action. Scheduled for six two-minute rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my right. Fighting out of the blue corner. Entering the ring wearing white trunks with green trim. Joining us from Dublin, Ireland, now fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana. She weighed in at an even 130 pounds with a record of 10 wins and three losses, two draws. She has nine wins. Coming by way of knockout, introducing the hard-hitting Deirdre Gogarty. And her opponent across the ring, presenting to you on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing pink trunks with white trim, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, by way of Mullins, West Virginia. She weighed in at the lightweight limit of 135 pounds even, with a record of 34 wins, two losses, and two draws. She has 25 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, recognized as the women's pound-for-pound -pound champion, introducing the coal miner's daughter, Christy Martin. Once again, a referee in charge, Carlos Padilla, now to give instructions. Okay, who is the chip seconds here? Okay, here, chip seconds, you will be responsible for any misbehavior of your assistant, okay? Uh, Gogarty, Martin, you will already give instructions in your respective dressing room. I want a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Is that understood? Okay, touch glove, go back to your corner and wait for the bell. Good luck. Okay.
Well, there's a look at uh, Deidre Gogarty, a full-time graphic designer from Dublin, looking for the support of the many uh, English fans here for Frank Bruno. And Christy Martin, very disciplined, but admitted to us she just doesn't have the patience in the ring. She wants to throw bombs. She feels that's, that's what the crowd wants to see. The crowd has a major effect on her. It excites her. Her philosophy, why box six or eight rounds when you, could, you can get her out in one or two? You get paid the same either way, Steve. Yeah. You know, it's funny. When I watch Christy Martin in her, in her fights, I'm always in, a fan again. I'm watching. I'm enjoying. But I always feel worse for the loser in a girl's fight than I do in a guy's fight. Well, with St. Patrick's Day just a day away, uh, Gorgany told us she hopes to do the Irish proud, decked out of the green and white. She came to the U.S. because women aren't allowed to fight professionally in Ireland. She's always had a fascination with boxing, idolized former WBA featherweight champ Barry McGuigan. As a youngster, she, she never told her parents of the love of boxing as she connects with a left hook. I'll tell you what, she's got a nice jab, and right now she, she had her chin tested. She went seven rounds and got stopped by Laura Serrano, who Christy Martin fought to a draw. Many people thought Serrano beat Martin, and it was a very controversial draw. Oh, a right by Christy Martin. A crunching overhand right that connected. Deirdre Gogarty on the white with the green. The daughter of a world-renowned oral surgeon who invented see-through braces. Her mom, a public health dentist, she never told her folks about boxing early on. They thought she had a boyfriend in the gym. Now they're very supportive. Christy got hit with a real good left hook. Look out, Christy Martin in trouble, but she battles back. And Christy they go toe-to-toe. To toe. Christy's got a lot of heart, but I'll tell you what. Christy ran into a hell of a combination of terrific left hook counter by Gogarty, and this is an even fight right here, every inch of the way. Deirdre Gogarty proving to be a match for the impressive Christy Martin. We have seen Christy Martin fight several times, and we've really never seen this much counter-punching against her. A strong response from the crowd. and shorten the distance up. You've got to use your jab and then throw the right hand behind it. Good, good. Just double jab her, double jab her. My hair's all in my face. Okay. Great, great number. Double jab her and send the right hand behind it. There you go. Now here you're going to see a great counter left hook by Gogarty. She throws a sneaky left hook right around Christie's gloves and it and we, there it is right there. And the right hand following. Christie's stunned for a minute then goes backwards smiling and gets hit with a right hand. Kind of getting served up a little. And I'll tell you, it's a, it's a war. It's a close fight right now. That round could have gone either way. Tremendous round. Well, Christy Martin told us she goes out, and the first round is up to her, Bobby. After that, she listens to her husband, Jim, in the corner. Well, some solid shots there in round one by Christy Martin early, but Deidre Gogarty loading up with some big shots of her own with about 30 seconds left in that first round. Well, I'll tell you what, Jim Martin said to use the jab, working behind the jab. Sound advice, use the jab and work off the jab. The best and most underrated punch in boxing is the jab. Don't forget, these are two-minute rounds, and the two uh, women wailing away, picking up where they left off. Here comes Martin, turning it up. Oh, down goes Fogarty. Tell you what, Christy got hit with a good left hook and encountered it with a right Six. hand, got hit with the same left hook, Seven. the second right hand, Eight. but Gogarty on the canvas. A flash knockdown as Gogarty checks with trainer Bo Williford in the corner. Down at 32 seconds of round two, Gogarty. Back comes Christy Martin, pouring it on, looking to end it here in round two. Landing with some ferocious shots, Christy Martin, non-stop, relentless attack. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Carlos go, Padilla, go, go. the third man. You know, Gogarty's got a sneaky quick and a sneak, sneaky strong left hook. Christie's all over now, and you got to worry about being punched out here. She's throwing a lot of punches. They're all hard. Some of them are getting through. Martin has Gogarty cornered, and she is really taking a beating. 
One thing Christy does do that's great, Steve, she works the body and the head. Miss Gogarty is one tough gal. There's a lot of blood on the face of Christy Martin, but most of it is from Deirdre Gogarty. As Martin continues to land, right, left, uppercut, showing her entire repertoire. There's a swift right uppercut. What heart from Deirdre Gogarty, though, standing in there and taking this punishment, this pounding from Christy Martin. You know, I take my hat off to both these women. They both came to fight. They're showing what they're made of. They have big, big hearts. Oh, a solid straight right, followed up by a right uppercut, by a right overhand by Christy Martin. Burn, burn. But Gogarty stands in. You gotta get some life, baby girl. Are you okay? Are you all right, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you? Are you okay? Courage, D. Come on, courage. Courage, mm -hmm. D. Just a little more courage. Yeah, she's okay. Tell the doctor if you want to continue. You're all right. Yeah. You gonna continue? Yes. Okay. D, you hey, just look, need a little more courage. Paid. You hear you watch some of the action. You know, it's really good. You watch. There's a nice counter left hook, and there's a right hand over the top. And a little while later, she comes in with another key hook. Right there, and another right hand over the top. The second right hand, a little bit off balance, but a nice crisp right hand. And that's when Christy turns it on. When she smells blood, she is relentless, throwing bombs and bad intentions in every hand, throwing the head and body. There's that right hand again, over the top of a good counter left hook that she was receiving herself. Round three, Christy Martin, who always comes in looking for the knockout. Will this be the end? A dominant round for Christy Martin in round two, clearly applying the pressure on Deirdre Gogarty, but Bobby, tremendous courage being showed here by Deirdre Gogarty of Dublin, Ireland, and Lafayette, Louisiana. You know, a lot of people are looking at the boxing, the women boxing, you know, very differently. They're not sure how to take it. My brother was here on my birthday back in February when Christy came on for the first time, and he was kind of, you know, taken back by it, and he watched it and he enjoyed it, and I told Christy she got her best critic convinced as this fight heats up again. Their technique is excellent. They have mastered not just the basics, but some of the subtle nuances of the game. Another furious exchange here. Carlos Padilla taking a close look at Deirdre Gogarty. As Christy Martin unloads the bombs. Left and right, uppercuts, crosses, hooks. I'll tell you what, that blood now is almost all Christie's. Christie's nose is bleeding and it's bleeding just regularly. I mean, it's flowing. She is bleeding profusely. I've never seen this on the face of Christy Martin. It is she an ugly mess. It's that counter left hook that's been doing it, Steve, time and time again. And I, the first round I gave to Gogarty on that big combination, that big rally. Second round, obviously, Christy. This round, Christy's taking the lead so far, but this is tremendous boxing. Both fighters showing tremendous heart. A, a sweeping left hook by Christy Martin. And these punches, these are not glancing blows. These are landing flush. And Gogarty's showing some good techniques, good defensive survival skills, and some good countering back. She's got a nice stand-up jab. She leads with her right hand. Christy, she basically does everything well, except when she gets a little too careless and a little too anxious. Well, tonight, Gogarty said she'll use her boxing ability. She really respects Christy's strength, and she'll respect it a lot more after this. But she says her defense leaves a lot to be desired. The blood continues to streak from both nostrils of Christy Martin. Could help make the nose a little worse. You see it bleeding a little bit there, but there was a little bit of a beautiful straight right hand that kind of, you know, it's a little high in the nose, but that might have turned it up and opened it up a little more, and made it flow as freely as it had. Good straight right hand again. You'll see some nice counters, some good form from these ladies. They came here to fight. This, this could actually be the best fight of the night, guys. Run three of them. That nose could very well be broken. And uh, they said, don't blow your nose, but interestingly, she said to the doctor, I'm all right, and smiled. Gogarty keeps trying to aim for Christie's nose with that jab, looking to make it into target practice. 
Oh, a oh. right hand by Martin and a counter by Gogarty. And a kind of right hand and hook. That counter hook has been so effective for Gogarty. She has been landing it at will. That's what's causing the problem. I think that started the nose. There it is again. It is on target. I wonder if they underestimated the talents and the toughness of Deirdre Gogarty. Another straight right hand followed up by a left hook by Christy Martin and the blood continues to streak from her nose. She is bleeding profusely. You know, and that is just a very, I mean, it looks bad. It's not really a bad type of situation. Even if it's broken, it's just broken. That's what we fighters learn to live with. With the flat nose I have, I can tell you mine's been broken several times. So round four continues and it, uh, for the most part, has been non-stop action. Let's get Tommy Morrison's views on this. Tommy, what do you think? I think it's, this is the, the, the pace that they got set here is just unbelievable. I think uh, Gagardi is using some good footwork. I mean, the pace is just unbelievable. I mean, these girls uh, actually are, are, are uh, it's just unbelievable to see this. All right, Tom, we asked to Christy Martin, why does she do this? And she says she does it because the crowd excites her. She tries to get the crowd in, involved. She says this is entertainment. And now she goes to the ribs, follows it up with the right, the left connected, though, by Christy Martin. Well, Christy Martin's pink trunks and shirt are a much darker shade now due to that bloody nose. As Christy Martin comes in, wails away with that left straight down the middle, Christy Martin. You know, Gogri was having a good round, and she might have just lost it there because it was, it was even. She was countering nice. The knockdown's going to hurt her. Oh, she has shown her chin, let me tell you. Here you're going to see a counter left hook. This counter look, left hook is going to be by Christy Martin. Right here, right, this Deidre throws a little right in here. Christy steps in and throws the counter left hook over here. Something that Gogri's been doing her all night. You watch it. Throws the right, counters with the hook, right over the top. That's what Gogarty's been doing to her all night. She used a little bit of Gogarty's medicine in reverse. Four minutes to go. These are two-minute rounds. Coming up is round five. Come on, come on. Hey, wake up. They say do it for Ireland in the corner of hey, Deirdre Gogarty. There is a lot of moisture in the corner of Deirdre Gogarty. They're trying to towel it up right now, do some housekeeping. Meanwhile, the fight continues. You know, the extra five pounds of strength right here for Christy could be a big factor as it's wearing and taking its toll on Deirdre Gogarty. But I'll tell you what, she has got some chin. I'll tell you, she has taken some clean shots. And we all know Christy can punch. And she comes back and punches. Yes, back comes Gogarty. Unloading on Christy Martin. Martin swinging wildly. Gogarty landing with a right. A straight right hand that landed to the, the face of Christy Martin. You can never underestimate determination, heart, and will in this lady. Both of these ladies have shown both. But I got to tell you, Gogarty, what a, what a terrific character. Only 13 or 14 fights against 38 or 40 fights right. for Martin. And she is showing herself and doing herself proud. Christy Martin with a lot more experience. 34-2-2. Two two, 25 by knockout. Gorgody 10-3-2 with the nine knockouts. Nine of her ten wins by knockout. She does have power and as she shows here has a lot of resiliency as well. She was knocked down once earlier. A flash knockdown in round two. Got back up and looks to have broken the nose. Certainly damaged the nose of Christy Martin. All bloody. You know, I wonder if this were three-minute rounds, just how much they could keep that pace. This amazing this pace. pace at two minutes is, is amazing. You, you rarely see fights of any kind at this pace. Keep in mind, this is a six-round fight. It's a non-title fight. They're just both so uh, excited to be on this undercard of Frank Bruno, Mike Tyson for the heavyweight championship. They got the big crowd behind them, and this crowd really enjoying it. One more as round five comes to an end. Better than 15,000 expected a sellout crowd at the MGM Grand. Okay. Stop leading, go. Don't blow. Don't blow. Don't blow. Don't blow. Don't blow.
No, yeah. but leave it. Well, would you let me take care okay. of your job? If I'm going to take my go job, ahead. let go me ahead. do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come up face. Okay, last round. Last round. Right. Yeah. Wet this mouthpiece down. Come up face, too. On her face. Christy. You sleep. Right, you sleep. Wake up. Damn it. We need this fight. Come on. Don't worry about the towel. Okay. All right, sweetie. You got to go out there. You got to back her up. She's so tired. Terry sees some nice infight, and Gogarty's got Martin on the ropes, trying to press her, trying to push her. No, she's probably behind, especially with that knockdown. Nice counter hooks and right hands. Clean. Nice counter by Christy. There's another right hand by Gogarty. Keeping inside with the left hooks and the right hand. She worked well inside. And I'll tell you what, that work there on that round was long and fruitful, and I gave her the round. Here we go. Sixth and final round. They, they wanted to touch gloves. Carlos Padilla says touch gloves. Hey, Bobby, this could turn out to be the best fight of the night. Boy. That second round, knockdown of Gorgody, and resultant extra point deduction for uh, going down could be a factor in the decision. This is the sixth and final round. You know, that may be. It's, I got a three rounds to two, but that knockdown makes it uh, kind of up, past the up, point up, of no return for Gorgody because no she needs okay, a knockdown no to draw even, a knockout to win, and we know how well Christie is, and she's very well conditioned, works with men, as does Gorgody going to be tough to do. It's a big, big, tall order. Christy Martin now backpedaling, but hitting while she backpedals. And comes through with a sweeping left hook there. Back comes Fogarty again. She will not let up. She not only will not let up, she actually might be in the better condition of the two of them right now. Go hold it, go hold it. Hey, the extra go, five go, pounds, go. again, I think the strength is a bit, was a big factor for Christy. I think the extra five pounds of pop in her punches, the extra five rounds to move around made a difference. Again, that left hook all night long, that left hook for Deidre Gogarty. It's been there. It's been her go-to punch. She has had some answers for the much more experienced Christy Martin. Final 40 seconds of the fight. Gogarty was very close to being stopped in round two. But she has uh, looked to be the fresher fighter the rest of the way. There's a left hook and followed up by a countering overhand right by Christy Martin. Less than 20 seconds remaining in the fight. And understandably, uh, they are beginning to uh, tire because this has been just an incredible pace, but yet they continue to throw punches to the end. And again, Martin landed. And Gogarty's kept the pace this last round. She's done most of the scoring, but here comes Christy. There's no quick Christy either. She's getting hit on the chin, firing right back. The only thing that will stop her is the bell. And the crowd here at the MGM Grand appreciating the efforts of both Christy Martin and Deidre Gogarty, both showing absolutely brilliant heart and christy hearing it from the crowd they love her here in las vegas where she has become uh, almost a fixture you got baby you move around i guarantee you neither of those young ladies was paid enough for the efforts they put forth here tonight great fight baby all right all right Woo, I bet all you guys feel that way, right? All the fighters and no, you, you pay me people. five or six million, I feel like I did yeah. a job, a job well done. Mike Tyson, Frank well, Bruno can't feel that they're being shortchanged tonight. Well, Tyson's getting a reported thirty million, and uh, Bruno a reported six, and uh, the only Bruno problem with slighted. the thirty million, Steve, is that if you pay me thirty million to fight anyone, including this entire room, you may never get me to fight again, win, lose, or draw. And yes, I know my wife sitting at ringside yes. saying, "From my lips to God's ears." She's yes, sitting but, at home watching. But would you get into the ring with one of these two? You might think about it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I want to hire one of them for my sparring partner yeah. for the next fight. They did a great job. Well, both of them uh, spar only with, uh, with guys, with men. And that uh, really, that's a broken nose. I'm no doctor, but right. that picture tells you. you know, here's another knock, look at the knockdown, the only knockdown in the fight. Is that overhand right that Christie was trying to get through? Counter left hook was landing on her all night. And there's a right hand, and in the middle of that left hook, she got caught. Real great, powerful knockdown, but she was off balance in the fight because you could see the results on Christie's face. All right, let's get the uh, decision from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Art Lurie scores about 59 to 54. 
Al Miller and Paul Smith both score them out 60 to 53. All three in favor of the winner, the coal miner's daughter, Christy Martin. Two of the judges didn't give a round to Gogarty, and I just can't buy that. I thought she won two rounds. And uh, I think clearly there was a little bit of uh, misguided effort in the judging. I agree. Martin wins by unanimous decision and ups her record to 35-2-2 two and two in perhaps the toughest fight of her career. Jim Gray is standing by in the ring. Jim. Thanks, Steve. Christy, Deidre gave you much more of a match than anyone has to date. Did you expect that? Well, I did because of her style. Her style was that of a mover. She's mostly three-fourths of the fight going backwards. And uh, as anyone that's seen me fight before, they know that I like to come in there and, and brawl. So it was a, a more difficult fight than we had expected. We knew she was going to be tough, but we didn't know it was going to be this tough. Where did you go? Where do you go from here with this thing? And what do you think the reaction of the audience is to watching women box? Well, I hope that um, the reaction will be great. You know, we were on Showtime last month, and it was a good response. That's why I think we're here on SCT tonight. Uh, so hopefully they, they will enjoy it, more people, and let Don King and Showtime, Jay Larkin, know. And I'd like to say thank you very much to Jose Suleman and the WBC for awarding me the WBC women's belt. Congratulations to you, Christy. Let's go back.